Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss multiple choice questions on heat transfer operations, which are mostly related to evaporator. If you know the answer of any question, please comment in the comment box. If you like my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda. Now, let's see the first question. The kilogram of liquid evaporated per hour in an evaporator is defined as dash of evaporator. Options are Option A Capacity Option B Economy Option C Rate of Evaporation Option D Rate of Vaporization So answer is Option A Capacity Now Next question The number of kilogram vaporized Per kilogram of steam fed to the evaporator Is defined as Options are Option A Capacity Option B. Economy Option C. Rate of Evaporation Option D. Rate of Vaporization So answer is Option B. Economy Now, next question. In single effect evaporator, the economy is equal to. Options are, option A, 1. Option B, less than 1. Option C, greater than 1. Option D. None of these. So answer is. Option C. Greater than 1. Now. Next question. In backward feed multiple effect evaporator. Options are. Option A. Feed is introduced in the first effect. Option B. Feed flows from low pressure to high pressure. Option C. No pumps is required between successive effects. Option D. None of these. So answer is. Option B. Feed flows from low pressure to high pressure. Now. Next question. In the evaporator, lowering the feed temperature. Options are, option A, increases the heating area required. Option B, decreases the heating area required. Option C, reduce the economy. 
Option D. Both A and C. So answer is Option D. Both A and C. Now, next question. In evaporators, increasing liquor level results in Options are Option B. Increase in liquid film coefficient. Option C. Decrease the effect of hydrostatic head. Option D. Increase true temperature. So answer is Option A. Decrease capacity. Now, next question. Multiple effect evaporators are used to. Options are. Option A. Increase the steam economy. And decrease the capacity. Option B. Increase the economy. And the capacity. Option C. Decrease the steam economy and the capacity. Option D. Decrease the steam economy and increase the capacity. So answer is. Option B. Increase the economy and the capacity. Now, next question. Boiling point elevation of an ideal solution. Options are. Option A. Increases rapidly with temperature rise. Option B. Decrease rapidly with temperature rise. Option C. In independent of pressure. Option D. Both B and C. So answer is. Option A. Increases rapidly with temperature rise. Now, next question. In the multiple effect evaporator, the effect of boiling point elevation results in Options are Option A. Reduce the capacity. Option B. Reduce the economy. Option C. Increase the capacity. Option D. None of these. So answer is. Option A. Reduce the capacity. So that's all about important questions on heat transfer operations. In the next video, we will discuss another question. If you like my video, please like my video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel.